our lab isn't just beakers and microscopes. We have a lot of living animals in there. I have a quarter million rockfish larvae right now. What we're looking at is how to breed rockfish, how our activities in the water are impacting these guys. They're slow growing, they live for a long time. A rockfish is gonna live between 30 to 90 years and they don't really move that far from home. So it makes them ideal to catch. If one person actually starts fishing in an area, they can really impact what's going on there for the next 20 to 30 years. Working in the lab is great. You get to touch all the animals, you get to interact with them on a daily basis. But to really get a feel for what's going on in the world, we take it a step further. We go and dive and see these fish in their homes. Doing field work is the most exciting part of my job. As soon as you get in the water, everything's calm. All you hear is your own bubbles, and you do everything in slow motion. We go into the water to see how their populations are doing in the wild, but also to see what they're feeding on, what they require to live, what they need to grow. Sometimes there are obstacles to diving. Sometimes you get tangled up in kelps. I get, I get tangled up a lot. It really makes it worthwhile to see some of the fish populations come back. Um, fish where there weren't fish before, crabs where there weren't crabs before. All these areas that we've been protecting with Fisheries in Ocean Canada and House Sound, you can really see a difference.